Hi, it's Dali here. Um, I just wanted to say a good afternoon on this lovely sunny Thursday. I'm here again with Dali TV um, and I've got some really nice special offers for you today again and we've kept the old ones up there. We've got a little bit of stock left on some of those. Um, so if you couldn't join me on the soft launch last week, hopefully you can join me today. So what have I got for you? So I'm going to be starting off with the Stamperia. Um, so I suppose it's a, it's like a Christmas, white Christmas, vintage. So let me st get started. I'm just going to move the camera down so that I can go through this with you. Okay, so what do you get? So you get this beautiful um, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. This is a Stamperia paper. So you can see there already you've got these really beautiful three postcards, card toppers, you've got these two postcards below and then you've got the three tags and then you've got the other side as well, absolutely beautiful, lovely quality as always. Um, this is, um, I believe they don't print this anymore so it is something that we've kept hidden away for a while. So you get two of these sheets, so that's that's the start of the, the kit and then you get two of these sheets as well so this is the beautiful sort of ice blue sort of Christmas white selection and what you've got here is, is you've got all these different toppers again and then again you've got this beautiful background paper again you get two sheets of this as well then what you get is, is you get all these little um, snowflakes I'll just take some out for you they're in grey board and you'll get I think you get 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you get these really lovely snowflakes which you can then decorate as well. You get a couple of tags to work with as well. You get, I think it's about 100 gems there as well. Beautiful ice blue, really match this kit. And then you get um, two meters of ribbon, organza ribbon, beautifully in this sort of rustic colors and in the blue. You get some twine as well. So that's a... Uh, four sheets of 12 by 12 paper um, and then you get that's, um, the, the embellishment kit with that as well. Now we've got that on special offer at 9 99 today and that's Dali TV 7 on the www.dalliartsmarket.co.uk site. I know Paul's doing the comments so he'll be able to tell you exactly what's going on. Okay. So, what have I made using this? So, I just wanted to show you, I have actually made, let me just bring that closer to you, this beautiful canvas just using one of those sheets of the, the blue paper. As you can see, I've got the blue paper there, you've got some of these snowflakes going on here, you've got the twine coming in, you've got a little bit of the ribbon coming in up here. So you've got all of the elements that you've got there and I've used some of the structure paste and the snow paste and some of the 3D pens which you also have on special offer. I've also, if anybody recognises it, have used one of the Pip Art stamps. So this one is at the moment on our, whoops, trees trying to attack us. Um, this one is on our site at the moment. It's called Venture Into the Wild. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me just show you that as well. Oops. So lots and lots of elements on there. Lots of starry nights, lots of trees, lots of silhouettes. Absolutely beautiful stamp set. And I believe this is only $3.99 at the moment. So that is called, that's by Pip Art, Venture into the Wild. So that's what I used at the uh, forefront of, of this beautiful deer here. Which virtually reflects the picture in the actual papers as well. So that's your first offer um, and that's all talking about um, really the stamp period papers and, uh, for the Christmas collection. The next offer we've got for you today is a Becky Seddon one and it's all about the rustic. Now the rustic pad which I'm just pulling out here because I've got all my papers everywhere at the moment is actually 40 sheets of paper it's actually 20 designs because they're double-sided, even though it says 10 designs on the front. And what it is, is this is beautiful. I can't tell you how beautiful that is. I'll show you the 10 designs in a minute, but can you just see how beautiful that is? Lovely to work with, really, really nice. 
to, so it's a lot of paper there I can't tell you how much but there's 40 sheets there just for you to work on so we've got those let me show you some of those designs as well so that you know exactly what you're getting when you do get your pad home now again you're not only going to get this pad you've also got two stamps you're going to get which are let me just lean across oops I nearly dropped everything then which are um wish wish you merry christmas so a really really lovely stamp um and there's also this beautiful new year one now i know it says 2019 but these are all separate so you can actually make this 2021 2022 but absolutely beautiful i'll be showing you how to use these um just shortly okay so we've got two two stamps plus the rustic pad and today they are only um 12 12.99 and i mean you cannot even get two stamps for less than 14.99 a6 with that sort of detail so this is a, a real real dali tv offer i think our doorbell's ringing paul <laughs> it's all in real time so um basically um you've got all these papers as well so let me go through the papers with you so you've got these beautiful snowflakes You've got this beautiful snowflake on this side as well. So absolutely beautiful to work with, whether you're decoupaging or whether you're just doing them. You've got these lovely frames, double-sided again, really beautiful colours. So if you're doing an album, great for, for photographs. Again, some beautiful snowflakes. The colours are absolutely beautiful. Um, so absolutely beautiful to look at. Paul, I think there's somebody at the door. <laughs> he had his headphones on he couldn't hear <laughs> so there we go so we've got these beautiful trees got this really nice wood panel great if you've got some dyes that you want to use um, so absolutely gorgeous to work with another really lovely rustic colors there so some really really nice papers now like I said there's 10 10 sheets 10 sheets 20 designs and you get 40 sheets so there's um basically four of each sheet i love this one as well i absolutely love it look at that and you've got all your trees as well i think i'm showing them upside down anyway so there you go this is a really nice one it just reminds me of a table runner for some reason and you've got these really lovely snowflakes again and you've got this beautiful one with the trees i love this one this is actually probably one of my favorites so there you've got that 40, 40 um, papers, um, you've got the two stamps, and then that offer is 12 99 So absolutely brilliant. So absolutely excellent. So that is amazing. So let me show you some of the examples with that as well. So it's always nice to see some samples that we have. And I have to say thank you to Elaine for doing these as well, as always. So if you just want to keep it really simple, here's a really simple card. Just use the paper, mat and layer it and put a few sequences on it. If you want to go a little bit more mixed media, a little bit more different, then you've got this really nice, the Happy New Year and the, and the um, date. This is one of my favourites and I'll be showing you this one as a demo. So you can just see how lovely that is and how beautifully the stamps emboss as well. You've got the uh, wish you were here one as well. So, or we wish you, I should say, a Merry Christmas. Um, so again, that's lovely. Now, the good thing about these papers is they're quite sturdy. Um, so it's really nice to work with. So you've also got this one, which is a little bit more, I suppose, mixed media. Um, there you go again, embossed using the, the one of the Becky Said and Doily Dreams with the backing papers again. That's that one of those frames you saw earlier again another one and look they're just so beautiful so different again if you're somebody who's just starting out you want something simple maybe you just want to put a sentiment on this this is a really lovely way to start your Christmas cards then you've got where you can create your own papers as well so if you've got the watercolors um, whether they're the Pentart ones or the Elizabeth Craft ones you can create these sort of effects in the background 
again you've got this really lovely one absolutely beautiful it nearly looks like we've die cut the stamp here but it's actually just the stamp um, I know Elaine did this one for us so thank you once again so you've got this one which is an A6 it's a beautiful A6 topper card the stamps are A6 so it makes beautiful cards whether you're doing um, A6s or a um, uh, six by sixes I love this one and I know Elaine did this one for me I love the detail in that that's because you get four sheets of paper of each design but what that enables is is that you can actually decoupage just just done with two sheets and it's absolutely brilliant so it's really nice and again as we said they just look so beautiful whether you want them this way whether you want them this way it doesn't matter they're just so beautiful as the papers the colors to suit everybody's palette so that really lovely blues so so you know you can add your own die cuts your own embellishments you can go to something which is a little bit more more younger a bit more funky um, so you can just see all the different different elements there for those now the pay the, the cardstock or the paper I should say is um, it's, it's pretty pretty strong and what you're able to also do is, is make decorate boxes as well. So just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So again, another one by Elaine. And you can see, because you've got four sheets of each of the designs, look at that. That would make such a beautiful gift for somebody. So nice. So I love that one. This is another one. And look at that. Oh, it's so precious. I want to have Christmas. So we've got that one. And then now we've also got the one which is my favorite I mentioned earlier. So that's that really beautiful rustic blue. I love this color palette, I really do. Okay, and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a play with these and just have a look at how they would look um, in the planner. And I'm gonna share that with you shortly when I look at my demos. Now that was Dali TV 8, 12.99 for the pad and the two stamps. What do we have for you next then? We have Delhi TV 9 and that is your rice papers. Let me see which ones I've got first. I've got my traditionals first. So let me just show you. And some of these we've had before, but a lot of you have probably used yours. So let me just show you these as well. Oh, let me take this paper clip off that I've managed to put on so well. Okay, so the first one you've got, mind I haven't taken them out of the bag, so they will reflect a little bit. First one you've got is this lovely six, six beautiful um, traditional designs with the pine cones, with the poinsettia, with the robin, with the deers. So what you've got here is this lovely coasters. Maybe you're looking at putting them on a, and just as toppers on a card. You've got this really lovely one here as well, the robin. I like this one. So all those Christmas um, cakes or mince pies, great to do a plate with this one or even cover something like a box that you're going to be giving some goodies in. Then you've got this beautiful deer one, which I'm going to be using to show you. And you've got this beautiful poinsettia. Now this beautifully decoupaged put it onto stone paper, maybe put it onto a notebook, makes a really lovely Christmas gift again. So those are the traditionals. Now we've got five there, A4 Stamperia rice papers, 28 um, grams. And again, today only 9.99 for those designs. So, you know, we are really trying with the Dali TV to give you the offers um, that, that will suit everybody's budget. Right, so the next one I've got, let me just quickly show you that. Whoops, I just dropped something, but that's okay. Is the Pink Christmas. Now, this is really sweet. So I'll show you some examples with the rice papers in a minute. Um, is this beautiful little buzzy cat Christmas. Then we've got the Robin with the lovely candle. Hopefully they're not reflecting too much. So we've got that. I have put all the pictures up on the um, web because I know a few of you said last week that the, some of the, you didn't see the pictures. So I have done that as well. These are absolutely beautiful. I mean, they are just so, so beautiful. I can't tell you. I mean, the detail in them is just so, so nice. 
and I've stuck my stamp to the bottom of that one that's not a good look and then we've got finally got this fantasy Christmas as well so that's the pink Christmas collection again five rice papers they are $9.99 and you get all of those as your collection now let me show you a few things that I've been doing with them so some of you may remember my tutorial on the little cat so just look at that isn't she sweet Imagine her coming out at Christmas, absolutely beautiful. Put your truffles on that, absolutely gorgeous. So that's just an example of a, of a plate I've done there using, using that. We have lots of examples of these rice papers in the building, but I just wanted to share a few with you. Again, you can use the rice papers to decorate elements. So you've got the tree there. So it's absolutely beautiful to work with. Um, so there's just so much you can do with them um, that you don't always think of doing with them. Um, so those are, so that, that is Dali TV 10. But if you put in Dali TV into www.daliartmarket.co.uk, you will see all the offers come up. So it's very simple. We've made it very, very simple. Dali TV, all one word. So the next thing I've got for you is these beautiful, let me just reach across. 3D pens. Right, so I've got three beautiful colours for you. One is the emerald green, which is absolutely beautiful. It's more of a transparent. I've also got a silvery rose, absolutely beautiful for the berries. Um, and then I've got this opaque silver. So three very different, different um, textures, three very different um, colours, very Christmas and bringing these to you for the first time. So these are absolutely beautiful to work with and I'll be sh showing you how these work as well. So let me start by um, just showing you a few, few examples of what we're going to be doing with some of these products today. So there we have, we have one, two, three, four, we have five offers for you, starting with Dali TV 7 to Dali TV 11. And we also have our offers from the week before. Now I started, oh, I forgot to show you my tray as well. Ooh, forget all these things, don't I? I've got so much going on. There we go. So there we go. Let me put that down a bit. So you've got this really nice tray that you could do as well. So this would make a lovely cheese tray at Christmas as well. So we've got a lot, lot going on, um, lots of different samples. Now, one of the things I wanted to share with you was, is that with all of these, let me move these ones down and look back at the ones we started at. Okay, that's that Pipart stamp, if anybody's um, wondering what we used. Okay, so in this kit, I thought I would, I've obviously done the example, if anybody missed it, let me quickly show you that, is we've got this beautiful example here, yeah, where we've used all the different bits of this, this one page, it's not, just using this one page here, I've created this beautiful um, canvas, which is very 3D, very beautiful, okay, so, I thought I won't show you that. So basically what I did was cut all these elements out and then I put them down using all the different embellishments that we have in the set as well. So I thought, whoa, one of the things we could be doing as well as a 3D project with these all is also doing cards, cards or albums or any of that. So what I wanted to share with you was exactly that. So what I did, I actually cut away all these three and I cut these down. Now already you've got three toppers there, you've got two postcards and you've got the three there. So that's uh, seven, eight, eight elements already for you, ready to go. And you've also got the double sided, so it's really nice if you are giving them just as tags or just parts of postcards. So I thought, what could I do with this? So what I did, so the first thing I did was I actually cut them all down. Let me just get my other one. Oh, so there we go. That's all three there. So first I took all the tags and I cut all the tags down. Now I've already given you twine and I've also given you the brown ribbon. So you could go with the twine or the brown ribbon to decorate these. 
So you would just punch these and then you would decorate those as like that. Then what I thought was, is you could either keep this as a pocket in an album, which would be absolutely lovely, or you could separate those out and then mat and layer them. I mean, they look absolutely beautiful if you put them onto brown card. I can't tell you how beautiful they look. So they look absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so they're really, really nice. I mean, those are the three different designs. Let me just show you those. I mean, just look at those. And you get two sets of those papers. Okay, so you've got those. So that would be something that I would look at doing. And the other thing you could do with these is also just make them into some, just, you know, even if you gave that as a card and a little gift, that would just be so, so beautiful. So you can just see how lovely these are. Okay, now the other thing I thought would be nice is, is to do it into an album. So what you could do is, is you could start building this. Um, I think a craft card with some of the brown card. Um, and then you can start building this up. And then you could actually make that the inside, the inside of your book. And then add pages to that, just using, like we usually do, this Constantina effect. So that would be so easy to do and so beautiful. And because you've got two sets, you could use those two sets. But then I thought, you know what? Those rustic papers uh, from the Becky Seddon collection would work really well with this as well. So I thought, well, why don't I look at that? So let me just pull those out. So I thought, oh, just imagine putting some of those. So you could just go through them. It really is your own, own choice. And I thought, what about a bit of brown? bit of this on the back let me show you just look at that and it looks just fold that one in it looks absolutely beautiful so this is how i would actually go about creating my album and just look at these pieces and how well they already come together and that's just the papers and you could choose a different design I thought this one would look nice as well a bit more busier but I still think it really works really well against the brown papers and this so lovely so if you're looking at creating pages in an album um, 40 sheets you get so you could really be going to town you know but even something as um, beautiful as this there you go so can you see now how that's working? So that's why I've made this selection today, is that you get things that will work together on lots and lots of different levels. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to these, but I wanted to also share with you, I know I'm sharing a lot with you, but I'm just trying to give you some examples of how to use these products as well, without actually going into a lot of detail at this stage. Okay, so, we have these beautiful, and I mean they are absolutely beautiful, from Elizabeth Craft Designs. They're the beautiful planners. We have um, this colour, vintage um, espresso, I think it's called. And um, we also have the beach in this size. These are absolutely beautiful. And I am addicted to these. I've started, I know I showed some of you yesterday, but I'd already done a couple of pages using the You Make Me Happy pages. I think I'm going to be doing it with everything. I'm going to do the um, Dream of the Magical things, I think, as well. So can you just see how beautiful that is? Then I've even used the rice papers from the pink collection, as you can see there. Isn't that beautiful? Just to show you, you can do that. But then just now I was looking and I thought, oh my God, we've got the 40 sheets and I could just make this beautiful planner for somebody uh, as a gift. For their photographs or their just look at that just absolutely beautiful and it is really really easy to do so i'm going to start off with doing a page for this planner using the christmas papers so what you we have got a collection and we have got 15 percent off it's under the elizabeth crafts design what you get is you get your two stamps which match this which give you all the dates and everything really makes a beautiful gift for somebody for the start of the new year and then you get these eight, eight dies. I mean, it is all the days of the week. 
you've got circles, you've got coffee cups, you've got, there's, there's nothing that they've not thought of. You've got the beautiful um, envelopes, you've got beautiful florals, and that's that die I'm going to be using now. And this is one of the dies which makes up the actual little envelope that I showed you earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of ink, just grab my ink, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what I've already done is I've already cut, using that die, I've already cut a piece out. Look how beautiful that is. See, it's just so, so nice. If you've got any questions, please let us know. If you've got any comments, please, you know, let us know. If there's anything we can do differently, then just let us know. All I'm doing is I'm just using a distress ink just to distress the sides a little bit. Just add a little bit more character to the papers. Okay, so that's as simple as that. And they've already been scored for you, so it's even easier. So all I do is I just fold on the score lines and you can see how well these papers come together. Little score line there, and then you just tuck this bit over the top. Now you've got that really beautiful pocket. I haven't actually done the little um, bits that go on the top to do the string yet, but I just wanted to share with you how beautiful that pocket will now look. Look at that. Those papers really do lend themselves. And then if I was just to put, pop that in, into here, I mean, obviously I haven't glued it down or anything, and I will be working on these, so you can just pop it in there. You can pop it in like this, and then have this over here when it goes over, and it just looks so beautiful. Everything works. So again, simple, but very, very effective. Just look at that page. Looks like somebody's already stenciled onto it. Look at that, how lovely it all looks, how nicely it all comes together. So these are just one sheet of the paper that I've used. You get so many. I mean, even that, and then the rustics, they all work. So that's the beauty of all of this, is that you can now make whatever you want. There's eight dies there, and you could, if you're a die cutter, this is your dream come true, I have to say. And we have got a special on the collection as well. So there's your planners. Absolutely beautiful. A must for everybody, even if you don't want one, you need to have one. So what am I doing next? So the next thing I wanted to show you was is that you can actually adhere rice paper straight onto, onto card. And I thought, you know, I'd really like to combine some of the papers. And I was looking through, in fact, before we started, thinking, oh, which one, which one would work? Now, this work, you would think this would work, but then the, the deers are too, too large for the trees. So I thought, let me try something different. So the pa it is paper, but it's, um, it's just nice to see deers. the, uh, is it deers, deer? Uh, so he always laughs at me. And um, so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll attach it to the actual um, cardstock. So, or the paper, I should say. Uh, so, it's really nice. It's still sturdy. It stands up. So, really nice if you, you are looking at that. And if you want to put a, a card topper in there, you can do. Okay, so I'm just going to use the decoupage uh, matte medium to do this. But the first thing I want to do is, is I want to look at which part of my design, bearing in mind I know where the nose is going to go, is where is this all going to fit in for me. So I'm going to take a little bit of the writing. I'm going to take a little bit of the, uh, the, the, I'm going to take a little bit out of there and see how that works for me. So all you need is a clean brush, oh, that's where there was camera, and some clean water. So what you do is, is you draw around the image that you're after. So I'm going to take a little bit of that tree, um, take a little bit of this, and keep all this paper because this will be, used for another project for sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna... All you do is, where it's wet, use your two thumbs, put your fingers underneath if you find that easier. It's very forgiving rice paper. If you've got a, uh, what I call a slug in them, then you just pull that out. There we go. So I'm just pulling this out pull away, keep going until you've just got just the design part that you want to work with. 
So I'm going to use the Max Decoupage Medium. All the products I'm using are available on, on the Dali Art Market site. So all I'm doing is just pulling this out. There we go. There we are. There. Keep all of this. This is essential you keep all of this because you will use it again, I can assure you. Right, so now what we have is we have this beautiful um, scene of the deers that's just going to go down here. And it will look like it's already a part of the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my uh, decoupage medium and I'm just going to use that to stick it down with. So just find a clean brush and the best thing for me to do is just roughly put it down wherever the paper is. You don't need loads. It's very forgiving. Um, it's clear, it dries clear. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that down. That's all I'm doing. And then working from the middle outwards. And it will be so nice because rice paper is translucent. So you can see how well that already works together. Let me just put a little bit of this up here. There we go. It'll take a few minutes to dry, but once you'll see, once it's dry, you'll see, you'll still see the deer. Now, if you wanted to, you could make the deer, um, you could colour the deer, make them pop a bit more. So I'm going to just show you that while I can. If you were to do that, what you would do is use your primer. And I'll just show you that very quickly. I just thought about that. And I thought, oh, I must show you that. And what will happen is your deer, I'm not going to put loads on. Well, you would do this before you started gluing it, by the way. Um, will pop a little bit more, but the rest will stay very translucent. Let me, have I got that in the way? There we go. So it's not, there's no art to it. But it just means that you've got that little bit more. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so I've just used the white primer there, by the way, the gesso, just to do that. And then now what will happen is once I take it, and this is the beauty of rice paper, it's just so forgiving. So now the deer will pop a little bit more, whereas before they were getting lost a little bit. So let me go back with my um, decoupage medium. Oops. See, real time. And you can see this paper is actually standing um, all this decoupage medium. Let me just put that down. And let me put that over the top now. There we go. I'm much happier now. It wasn't a lot. It makes a little bit of a difference, but it makes enough difference for me to notice. So let me just put a little bit more decoupage medium here. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. I hope you get the chance to watch it if you're not watching now. And if there's any questions, if you want me to do something different, the idea is, is I'm going to bring you techniques that, you know, that you, you can use and that either you've bought, the, bought products from either us or elsewhere or you're looking at getting into it. Now, when you look at this and once it's dry... You won't know that I've just stuck that down onto there. So let me just put these two bushes into water. So, so using the decoupage medium, a bit of primer behind. Let me just give that a quick heat. Now, because you've, um, uh, sorry, now that, that because you've actually um, added the rice paper, it's still fine because it's very light. Whereas if you were adding something else, you probably want to put a little bit of cardboard behind it. But I think this would look really nice if you mat and laid it. But can you see that? Now, that rice paper has added so much just by just doing very little with it. And even if you were to put it onto a bit of brown card, doesn't that look lovely? I mean, already it's looking beautiful. So I'm going to add some more of the paper because I think it's just such a nice, nice way to work with these. 
So that just looks so lovely. Look at that. It looks like it's a part of the image. You would never know that it wasn't a part of that paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a corner of one of the sheets and all I've done is just cut away and done that. So what I want to do is, is I want to put that also at the top. Now what you're going to find is, is that this actually covers the other little one. So what you might want to do is maybe cut your design just up here at the half line. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with this design. I would keep it because you will use it again. And you could use it on the inside of your card. So I'm just going to go through, sorry, I'm just going to go through the middle of that. Okay. And then what I can do is I can still move that across slightly enough. So I'm just going to take that little bit off this side there. Not a lot, but just enough for that to, to work. So again, I'm just going to put that just there. Now you can just see how that's all coming together. It's adding a bit more 3D to it as well. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my Distress Oxide and some of my, just my verbal, I'm just going to go around that just to give it that little bit more of a vintage feel. Now again, I've got two sheets here, so you could actually cut this in half and just use the one sheet. So I'm just loving this effect. The rice paper is still a little bit wet, so be careful because it will start to lift while it's still wet. So can you see now how, we, how that's all coming to life? Even just a little bit of colouring around the edges just makes it pop. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to adhere it to there. Now, we can do two things. We can either put it down flat or we can raise it. But the first thing is, is I need to blend it a little bit more because it's a bit more stark. So let's just add a little bit more to the edges because I've not done that. Really take ink well these papers. So a really nice pad, and like I say, on a very special today. Right, so the next thing I want to do is, again, oops, is put that down. And so we've got this really, really lovely uh, image. So I'm going to just use my uh, Pentai Express glue, which I love. Um, I, I just basically, there it is. Ooh, is I'm just, I just dip my little stick into it. And then what I do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the edges. And uh, not a lot. I don't need a lot. It's so easy. I find this, this is really easy way for me to do it. So again, just going to put that to the corner, put that down. And that's your next layer done. So you can just see how that's coming together. So it's just so beautiful. You've used a bit of rice paper. You've used, you know, half a sheet of a paper. We use the other bit of this paper for the, the planner that I showed you earlier. So you've got this really nice, really rustic card going on. Now the next thing I want to do is, is I want to just to, um, start to bring in some of those 3D pens. And I'm going to use the silver opaque one because I think this will look really, really nice. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I just want to show you, they're self-leveling. So I don't know if you can see that, but can you see how that's really raised? It's so beautiful. So you've got that there. So that shows you exactly what you've got. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to just use it just on the bits that I think would be really nice highlighted. So not too much, just enough. We do these in lots of different colours. So it's just one example to show you what you can be doing with the uh, Becky Sudden papers, with the rice papers. Let's put a little bit in his little eyes. There we go. And then you can start to see how that's coming together. So doesn't that look beautiful? I think it's just so gorgeous. Let's look at that. So you can see how, how lovely that starts to look. Then even inside, you could even go to the next level where you're actually taking a little bit of that 
that front bit can I show you just show you because I've gone and put stuff on the front of the the, um, the bit of the um, so then you could have that which would then build it all in together again so that's up to you if you want to do that we still have so much left from the planners by the way look that's my bit I cut out so you can see this paper goes a long long way so what I would probably do is I would actually mat and layer that onto a brown piece and then you would get this beautiful card I just think it's so lovely it's so simple but it's just so there's something about it there's a, a real warmth about it now if you wanted to crackle down the bottom you could actually crackle a little bit and make it look like snow as well now the other thing we have is we have this beautiful sparkling gel it's a gold it's translucent but it gives you this really nice shimmer um let me just get my I'm making a right mess here you would not believe how much mess i've made all on my own so don't forget we've got all the three colors in the um 3D pens. I've just shown you one. There you go. You've got all these beautiful colours for the, the Christmas. So you've got your emerald greens, you've got your silvery roses, berry colours, and you've got your um, opaque silver as well. Absolutely beautiful to work with and really large. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do it just on the snowflakes. Just use your finger and just rub it. If you don't want to use your finger, just use a piece of... Um, paper and all I'm doing is I'll show you this in a minute I love this technique because I think it really adds to the the finish really brings that paper a little bit more mixed media I suppose some would say so let me just keep going I and mean, I could keep going with this card and I'd just be doing this all day so maybe we want a little bit of sparkle on our not too much but enough again and we could have a little bit to ground them here there we go so again not a lot but now hopefully you can see that can you see that in the yeah and that really does add and that's the sparkling um, gels they are absolutely beautiful to work with there we go so I really love that and I think it's a really nice way to make a Christmas card which is just so original. It's not from a paper pad, just it's just it's just a combination of techniques as well. And I just love I love the feel of this. So it's really, really nice. So we've got this, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there we go. And so that's just one, one, one technique I wanted to share with you today. Now, the other things I wanted to share with you today was is the stamps that come with this collection. So let me just show you. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this um, card together. And what I'll be showing you is, is how beautifully these stamps actually um, come together in terms of the embossing powders, the details. Got it all stuck to my thumb now. And I just want to put these down and then I will show you. So let's just see it opens the right way. So we've just used like a 3D pen in the background to create these backgrounds. So you can do that. And all I'm going to do is position that roughly there. Okay, so I've got a bit of black cardstock here. And just throw this away I'll just wipe this down so I can put my fingers everywhere over it um, and then what I'm going to do is and I had dropped that earlier so I'm just going to grab it is get the happy new year stamp I'm going to use the Versamark to create this so I'm just going to take a little bit of Versamark here there we go and all I'm doing is just tapping it on there because the first marker is, if you're not aware, it's more of a sticky glue. Um, and this is what you use with the embossing powders. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of paper so that I've got somewhere to put it all. 
when I throw it on there. So, roughly in the middle. And all I'm going to do is now just stamp that sentiment. Doesn't matter if it's upside down, but it would help. Okay. And all I'm doing is just pressing that down gently, not too hard, and just making sure I've got a good impression of that. Okay, it's a really beautiful stamp. I have to say it's something that you would use year after year after year. So there we go. And then just peel that away. Now you can't usually see anything, so don't panic. And this is where the magic happens. It doesn't matter how many times you do this, it is magical. So let's put this onto here. Please let me know if there's certain techniques you want to see, certain things you want me to do, because it would be really good to know that. Um, okay, so all I've done is I've tapped that off. Now I'm just gonna put this, uh, this extra bit into my little pot. So it doesn't go everywhere. There we go. So you need to go to Dali TV um, to look at the, the offers on the website. So I'm just going to dry this now and I'll show you that will come to life. Once the heat gun is warm enough, you'll see it turning. There it goes. You can see that. Okay, so what we've done here now is we've just basically taken the stamp, look at the detail in that. It's absolutely, it is a beautiful, beautiful stamp and it's just so much detail in it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I can put this on the, on here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of sticky pads and I'm just going to stick that down as well. It's just such a nice little simple technique, a very wow factor. The stamps talk for themselves. The little, the we wish you were here. Merry Christmas is beautiful too, as you would have seen some of the examples earlier. So let me just go through this. There we go. And then I'm just going to take the backs off. There we go. Yeah, so what this will do is it just makes a really lovely card and each year you can use this and you can just change the backgrounds because at the end of the day, a happy new year is a happy new year. So it's such a nice, so it's a must have I think and because of the size I just think it's so, so beautiful. And then just centre that. And then you've got this really, really beautiful card. So that just shows you how versatile that stamp set, those beautiful papers are. I've used the rice papers already to show you, but you can just see how lovely all of that is to work with. So that's, that's what I wanted to share with you on, on those bundles. Um, I've shown you how 3D pens work. Let me just show you on this little bit here as well, that you can actually draw with them, you can actually create lines with them, you can create different sizes, very easy to control, um, very, very three-dimensional and very, very easy to use. So they're very, very nice and you've got a set of three and they're 9 95 today. So it's really, really beautiful. And you've got the green, the silvery rose, and you've also got the silver. Now, I've also, oops, I've also adhered some of the rice paper onto the back of this tree. Um, and I want to just show you that it's really easy to work with, with products like this and to create this really lovely, lovely effect. So it's really, really nice to see how all this comes together. And again, you can be using 
the beautiful 3D pens, I'll show you on this, um, of how to use those again, where you might want to just fill in a little bit in the middle. I just love this effect and how easy, I mean, look, I'm just, you don't even have to press hard and then you can just keep going and keep going till you're happy that you've captured what you wanted to capture. Obviously you can bring the, the different colours in. We do them in so many different colours. Got gold. I'll show you the gold actually. The gold is beautiful. I know it's not in this selection but I'll just show you if I've got any left because I've used all of it. Um, again, you know, you can mix and match. There you go. So you don't have to stick to one colour. You don't have to, to worry at all. But they are so, so beautiful to work with. So what you have is you have the translucence, you have so different, different colours, like we have this beautiful blue. So I'm just going to show you that already on there. So you can see, look, they're keeping their shape. They will dry and they will keep that shape. Okay, so that's really, really nice to work with. And then you've got the one we did. And again, you could just be using a little bit of it at the bottom just to create a little bit more detail. So those are a few things that I wanted to show you on those. So we've gone through the, the three, the, the different kits. And again, we showed you all of the little toppers, what you could be doing with them, how you could maybe build them into an album or a book. And you only have to look how easy it is, how quick it is just to, to build these pages up. And just, seriously, it's just so, so easy. The, the products say it all for themselves. I love it on craft card. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. These beautiful toppers on craft card as well. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to share with you was obviously we've got the pink Christmas um, collection of rice papers as well. Um, and we've also got obviously the traditional. So just going back to them, I'll just show you those. So we're nearly coming to the end of the hour, is you've got all of these here. And I've used just part of the one that I used. So you've got all of those. Now you can go and make the glass plates, um, which are absolutely beautiful. Um, so that gives you some idea as well of what you can be doing with them. We've made boxes with some of the papers. So if you were doing, say, a matching box and some papers, it is really lovely to work with. So with rice paper, I think what it's important to, to say is that it is very, very versatile. So, you know, we could easily take this piece now and start to adhere it. And one of the things I want to speak to you about is, is that if you put it onto dark cardstock, it will stay dark. If you put it onto light or paint it, it will totally pop. So let me show you half and half because I think that's very important to realise that there is a big, big difference. And this is also, this Dali Art TV is about showing you those differences. So you can see how different that looks. You may want some of it to be painted white behind and some of it not to be. But this is a really nice way to create. So again, what we could do is we could use this as a part of our, our um, card making. And all we would need is just to stick that down. Um, and then what we could do is, is maybe even have a sentiment at the bottom that would make that pop. So there's lots of techniques there. I just wanted to do it for an hour so that you've got some ideas of what we're doing on the Dali Art TV. Uh, I wanted to give you a couple of ideas, a uh, bit of food for thought, um, and just really um, show you a few of the products, a few of the techniques, but you need to let us know what you like, what you want us to be doing, how you, how, what you would like to see more of. Would you want more mixed media? Do you want albums? Do you want, you know, do you want um, detailed products? It really is your, your forum. Um, if you want me to show you how to use crackle paste and, or you want me to show you how to use some of the decor softs or the sparkling gels or stencil paste, please let me know. 
because there's just so much we can be doing with you um, that you need to share that information. So, you know, you've got your lovely board there. We also talked about the beautiful planner at the, that we did. You know, just using one sheet of paper, um, some of the rice papers. Um, let me just move that across. You know, look at this. I mean, it's just so beautiful. I don't know how to say it, you know. And using your papers in different ways allows you to, to appreciate them. Whereas, whereas sometimes what happens is, is we're so used to using them in one way. And then you've got that beautiful pink Christmas range as well. So I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, I just want to say, let me just pull myself off the bed. Ooh, do it slowly. I'll try not to drop it this time. Um, so I want to say a goodbye. I want to say have a lovely weekend. Um, don't forget to join us for YouTube, um, YouTube, Facebook Live, which does go to YouTube, um, on the Wednesdays at 11 o'clock. I'm always showing you some techniques using some, some um, products. And then on the Thursday at 4 o'clock, we're always doing Dali TV. So as long as we're around, we will make sure we're doing that. We will keep bringing you the offers. Um, it'd be lovely if you can support us. It'd be lovely if you can just watch us. And if something takes your interest, that's great. If you've already got the products, that's wonderful. But just make sure you do let us know what you want, how often you want it, and what sort of products you like, don't like, what you like me doing, don't like me doing. Any feedback is positive because we can only improve with your help. So I want you to take care. Uh, I want you to enjoy the rest of the afternoon and I will see you next week. Bye for now.